On March 19th, Snuffy and Dahlia, our young mongoose lemur pair, gave birth to a female offspring. Uh, we actually didn't know till the next morning when we came in that she was born. Mongoose lemurs are critically endangered and we've actually never had a successful birth here at the St. Louis Zoo. We did a lot of research and preparation and talking to a lot of people that would help us kind of find a better way of helping Dahlia raise a baby. Dahlia was doing everything else right. She was holding the baby, she cleaned the baby, she was keeping the baby warm and letting the baby be on her. She just wasn't really letting the baby nurse. We prepare for a birth. We always prepare for the worst and hope for the best. And in this case, while we did have some issues with her milk production, um, it actually went as well as we could have hoped for. Um, we were able to leave Buttercup on her mom and we were just able to assist her and uh, provide the milk that she was lacking. She was really receptive to us, even in the beginning. She was hungry and Dahlia couldn't have been a better mom because she allowed us to get in there with her. We started doing the feedings and uh, feeding her by hand, recording our different amounts that we fed, weighing her before and after. As time went on, we just could come right up to the set and she'd come right to us. She had grip strength. We used a little surrogate to give her something to hold on to and uh, it made for the feedings to go really easy. That was our biggest role was getting her her calorie intake and making sure that her weight was continuing to go up after every two hours it was every three hours or every four hours and then we were eliminating time through the night so it would be three or four hours during the day four or five hour intervals at night the people that were here in the morning were responsible for the majority of the cleaning of the rest of the building and we all had to increase our workload to make sure we provided a high standard of care for the other animals in the building i definitely feel like it brought us closer together working under such weird circumstances and spending overnights together, being part of something most of us have never been a part of before. It's so important that you keep this baby alive. This is a critically endangered species and you want to do the best for this baby. And then to go through all that and to see her thrive is just, it's just an amazing feeling. Tuffy, uh, putting him back in the group, pretty much waited until we got to a point where we were comfortable with how Buttercup was doing and how Dolly was doing. Buttercup was a little kind of anxious at first, but with Dolly being comfortable with him, he was quickly okay with it. And so a couple times when she was actually starting to groom him too. We just wanted to baby proof and make sure everything was gonna be as safe as possible for her. So we put masking tape X's on the glass just because Buttercup did not have any glass before being moved up to this public habitat. We put up lots of ropes for her too. She's used to climbing on ropes, so we strung up a bunch of ropes all through the habitat as well. Super soft bedding down on the ground so that if she missed a branch or she slipped on something she didn't know, she had a nice soft fall just in case. Dahlia and Snuffy and all of us got her there. It was uh, very stressful to go through the whole process. We didn't really have another option, so we just kind of did what needed to get done. It's been amazing to see her now. She almost looks like an adult. She's just growing so fast, and it's so amazing to three months ago, you know, we weren't sure what was going to happen. Now we have this super happy, super playful little girl.